my name is Nicole and welcome to the Weeks Nest DIY. So in today's video, I tried out a viral TikTok DIY hack. This turned out awesome and I cannot wait to share it with you. This was super easy to make and it requires minimal supplies. I also included a free printable for you, which will be in the description box below so you can craft along with me. So let's get started. So if you go on TikTok, even Pinterest, you're going to see this really cool embroidery art trend and I just had to recreate it. It takes minimal supplies and if you like this line art look, I'm going to link some of my tutorials down below. I've done a lot of pieces that have this same style, but we're going to get started on this one. So there is a printable down below in the description box. I will be using that as well as some embroidery thread. This comes in a variety of colors. I'll be using black and green for this tutorial and then I also need a thumbtack that is what I'm going to use to make the holes as well as some tape scissors you want a stretched canvas for this a flat panel canvas will not work because the needle will not go through and then a regular sewing or embroidery thread needle start I just cut around the image that way I was able to see where I should place it on our canvas and I did print this on some cardstock just so it was a little bit more durable once I have the printable cut I'm going to take some tape and then I'm going to tape that in place this is really important that way when you trace with the thumbtack or needle whatever you prefer everything stays in place this is crucial you don't want to miss this step otherwise your image is just going to be wonky. So this takes a little bit of time, but it works up decently quick considering depending on the image you're using. And I do want to mention you can use any image that you want. I'm just going to provide the printable that I used for this project, but you are going to as evenly spaced out as you can just poke some holes as a tracing method for the image. And you're going to do this for the entire image and then I just kind of eyeballed the spacing. You don't want the lines or the holes on top of each other. That way it gives you enough room for a stitch. And then when you lift it, this is what you're going to have a whole bunch of holes. You see the holes on the back of that printable. Now start from the back and I did work this in sections, sometimes depending on the image that you're working with, um, just doing one continuous thread and stitch is not going to work. So start from the back, that way you have a place to secure and you are just going to stitch or sew your image. Um, I chose black for this and then like I said, I worked in um, sections. Now a little tip with this, depending on the image that you use, um, just check the back when you do that back stitch, that way it's easier to find the hole, like if you see me kind of flipping. Um, I tried to just do everything looking from the holes in the front and it was a little bit difficult. So once I did that, it did speed up a bit. Now, since I did work in sections, I just trimmed the back and then did a double knot. I went back and trimmed wherever I had tied off. Um, this just worked for this image since there was a lot of curves to this, even though it was line art. So just keep that in mind wherever you do work a section, just make sure you knot it and trim it in the back. Keep this simple for most of this. I just used the black embroidery thread, which is really inexpensive at most craft stores. And then I did switch to a green color for the little vine leaf on the bottom, continuing the same idea, just kind of going through the back and then doing the stitches. I was able to do this all in one thread. Thank you. 
can totally be done if you leave this just with the thread, but I decided to add some paint, which you could add first, but I wasn't sure what I was gonna do. Now to make this really stick with that modern kind of crisp aesthetic, I am gonna use some tape. I decided just to make a diagonal line, a square on the bottom. Um, totally up to you. You can even paint this entire canvas first, let it dry and then do the stitches. That would look really nice and be a way for this to pop, but that is the fun part about this. Whatever you want, you can do. Since the paint bled a little bit on that square, I'm just gonna extend it a bit, taking some more tape just to make sure my edges are as neat as possible. Once all the tape is up, paint is dry, this is what it turned out like. Messed up a little bit in that edge, but that's okay. I absolutely love this. I love this like abstract couple art with the lines. I thought this was a really fun and easy trend to do. Just something a little bit different to get that kind of modern boho aesthetic that I love so much. So let me know in the comments what you think about this one. I really enjoyed making this. It was actually pretty relaxing. Also, if you enjoy my content, make sure you are subscribed and have that notification bell turned on. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. It really helps my channel out and lets me know what you like watching. Don't forget, if you enjoy this kind of aesthetic of decor, I have a whole bunch of tutorials with images similar to this and different projects, so be sure to check those out. They will be in the description box. Also, don't forget to subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.